Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, target for tonight, um, the uh, Stephen Dixon online campaign. We're flying a Wellington for the 101st Squadron. Um, we are no longer flying Old Ram. We are in lightning strikes because Old Ram met with her demise. Um, so we're with lightning strikes now. We got a new crew, new guns, new slate. And uh, we've got our um, campaign record all set up, ready to go. Uh, still got nobody with any kills. And um, the mission record is ready to go. I believe we have everything in there. And uh, I think we're ready to roll. Hopefully we have a better mission. Um, target for tonight is quite... Uh, challenging we only have a G and we have no night vision um, let's get all our guys back in here we have a waist left waist we only have one waist gunner so we can only fire one of them we have a tail that guy's left over from shooting us down with uh, a ram target is going to be zone six we never made it past six last time, and we are full moon. I believe. I'm going to double check that real quick. Uh, bear with me. Why I do this? Um, on the other part, I have B-29 um, and uh, however Korea coming, so that'll be added to my repertoire. Uh, okay, full moon, yes. Weather is good and poor. Yes, uh, we have that. I have everything else filled out already. All right. Uh, the only other special rule um, that we do is uh, one die six to determine number run uh, success around the combat. So they can do max. So we still roll for their ability to continue. And uh, night fender will continue attacks on the bomber until we either fails a night a continued night fighter attack or it shoots the bomber down or itself shot down um that's uh it so that can be that's my biggest hang up with this is oh man you can get caught in some uh pretty nasty uh, runs with these um, because of the uh, night fighters not disappearing. Um, but I like the run out of ammo rule that they put into this, so I will utilize that. It makes the game a little bit easier to deal with. Um, still like it, don't get me wrong. Um, but that was definitely a necessary addition. Oh, sorry about that. And I sneeze, so I'm sniffing for a while, so bear with me. You get what you pay for. Um, anyway, charts. Let's get some charts up here. Somehow I managed to hit my volume up, so I'm blowing myself away here. And let's get that back down. Make sure we're actually recording and hearing. Yes, we are. And let's go to starting the mission and take off. We're in good weather. We roll a five, so we take off okay. All right. Then we will move up to zone two. We go to into zones. Sorry about that. That really bothers me when I'm sniffing at you guys. Um... In zone uh, two, we're going to go to high altitude.
We have 50% uh, cloud cover. There's no mission recall. Actually, there's yeah, no mission recall. Mechanical failure. We have no mechanical failure. Contrails. Contrails. We roll anytime uh, um, from zone two on out to the on the outward leg as long as we're at high level. And um, we get the contrails. Very nice, guys. Active devices or G. Cam viewer detection. We roll 12. I think we're detected. Uh, searchlights. We're going to try to evade them. But we got to see if we're detected first. Full moon. Seven. Six. Five. Six. We are not detected by the searchlight, so we don't have to evade. Triple A. There will be no triple A because we were not caught by searchlights, if I remember right. Let's see who this, how quickly we forget, right? Um, detected. Yes, we were detected. No, searchlights. Undetected. Go to night fighter combat. Um, so we will not see any triple A. Problem with playing too many different games. Night Fighters, and we do roll that. Um, number of Nerman Night Fighters. We're going to roll a D10. 10, of course we did. Um, that's two Night Fighters. That'll be Zone 2. Night Fighter 1, outbound. Roll that down and make that twice. Alright, now. We will find out what the Night Fighter is. We're on Campaign 2. We are rolling a D10-4. ME110-F4. And I'm going to put a parenthesis behind him, roll a d6, 4. So he can do 4 attacks on us. Alright, now. We are April 41. Uh, so after May 42, I mean 42, sorry. April 1st, 42, April 2nd, 42, so we're not doing that, we're not doing that, we're not doing that, we're not doing that, so we don't have to worry about any of that. <laughs> Sorry about that, it really bothers me, I I'm, I'm apologize for that. Um, pilot quality for Germans, we got to roll that, we're in 42, 7 will be a Flieger, let's get that 110 F4 out here, make it a Flieger. That's a flagger. Boy. Yes. Can't even read. Um, Alright, so he's a flagger. Uh, night fighter coming in from 8. Will be 6 o'clock. Hi. Alright. And then, we will find out if he can spot us or not. Uh, full moon, 2d6, 7, 6, 5, 6, 6. Not detected, he will dis disappear. Good. Um, that's one down. One less that can kill us. Next guy. That'll be a 10 DO217J1. 
we can fry him. And he will be able to attack us for, for, of course, we'll be over average on all those rolls. Um, okay, four attacks there. Let's get rid of this guy, return him to deck at DO217, J4. Or J4, J1, come on, Greg, get your act together. He will be... A flyger again. Um, he will come in. 1030. Level. Alright. Now we're going to see if he gets spotted. Or spots us. We are again full moon. Roll a 9. More than likely we're spotted this time. Uh, 8. Seven, eight, and we are spotted or detected. So we got to put up with him. Um, let's go down to bomber spot and him. Full moon, two D six, seven. <laughs> Six, six. We do not see him, so he gets to come in at us before first. He gets to fire first. Ten thirty level. Um, that'll be our nose gun. Actually, we'll look on the Wellington's chart. Um, Ten thirty level. Nose gun. Nose gun will be able to pop him when we get the chance, which is not right away. All right, back to the charts. Get them up here. Getting a little confused. Um, defensive fire we can't do yet. We need the German offensive fire first. Two d six six. He needs an eight. He will miss us. So the first attack is going to be a miss. <laughs> and we get to finally shoot at him. Now he opened up on us. Um, we need eight or more. We roll a eight. Eight so far holds and eight going once, going twice. We got a fight or hit five twelve B B. Um, hit damage against two seventeen J one right here. Roll D ten three. That'll be an FCA, and we got to check modifiers. So three. We have twin 303s. Ah, oh, here goes my sneeze again. We're going to be in trouble tonight. Uh, twin through three, so we stay at three. And we stay at three, so that's going to be an FCA. And that takes care of the first attack. Now, he's going to come back around. 
Get a seven and a five. That's going to be six o'clock low. We'll just move him right down there. Defensive fire allocation. We go back to the Wellington chart. Six o'clock low. Tail turret. He is a quad 303. So we need an eight or more. Get them charts back up here. Not less criticals. Um, so we got a five. Of course we did. There's no way I'm going to recover from that one. I don't think. Even with the uh, quads firing. We'd need some of these and we don't have any. Um, six o'clock we do. That's plus one. It gets us up to a six. That's it. Yeah, we miss. So he'll get to come in and attack us again. Coming in for six o'clock, he needs a six or less. We're subtracting one. And that's it. He gets a four. That's another miss. Nice. So he will come back again. Going to come in from nine, nine and a one, which is nine o'clock high. Go to our Wellington charts. Nine o'clock high is going to be the left waist. That's a handheld fifty on this one. All right, um, defensive fire, we need an eight or more. We get a 12, that's an automatic hit. D7, uh, DO217J1, we are handheld 50. We're going to roll a D10. Eight, that's a good roll. Handheld 50. 9-10. 9, 10. 9 10 it is. Destroyed. I like it. Return to deck. Delete. First kill. Um... KIA, and that goes to our waste gunner. First kill. Nice. Oh, keep them charts up there. So, we go to uh, Night Fighter, but i already behind on that. Yes, actually, I don't even need to do them because we keep track of that down below. No evasion. Uh, we got to roll for collision. Actually, we're supposed to roll for collision each time he came in. So, I owe you three rolls for collision then. Um, first roll. Misses, no collision. Second roll, ten. Eleven for being a flyger. Ten for not scoring hits. The second roll, we're going to subtract two one, and that's and so he does not collide with us at all. That was the third roll, by the way. Getting a little behind. Um, we would have subtracted that extra one from that ten. So we are safe. No collisions. Now we go to navigation. We will roll a d10. Three, not a good roll. Um, two for 50 percent, one, uh, one for nav has five or fewer, uh, zero for first third, one for being full moon, of course. Yeah, we move on to zone three. 
zone three. We will check for, we're still high altitude, 50% weather, no mission recall, mechanical failure, 34, no mechanical failure. Contrails, we have contrails again. Come on, guys. Uh, our G is active. We are going to roll for detection in the zone. 2D6, 11, I think we're detected. Um, searchlights, detection, full moon, 2D6, 7, 6, 5, 6, not detected. So we'll get no searchlights or triple A. Night fighters. We were all four. That's going to be one night fighter. Zone three, night fighter one, outbound. He will roll. Oh, well, we got to roll for him first. Um, D10, four, ME 110 F4. And he will roll two. So we'll only get two attacks out of us if he sees us. All right. Now, we don't have any of those because it's too early. Pilot quality for German fighters by year. Two. Going to be an expert. That's going to hurt. He's going to come in 12-2, which is VD. All right, vertical dive. There is no note for that. For vertical climb and vertical dive attacks, no rolls made on 5-9A. Okay. Okay, so we don't have any um, modifications or anything on that. So we got to see if they spot us. Full moon. Nine. I think we're spotted. Uh, nine. Eight for fifty percent, seven for first third, eight for contrails, nine ten for expert. Yeah, we're seen. Now, if we see them, which hopefully we do, we roll six. Always roll low for them. Five, four. Yeah, we don't see him. He's going to get first crack at us. All right, so they'll come in and get first crack at us. He's coming in from a vertical dive. German offensive fire from vertical dive is... He needs an eight. And he is expert, which he's going to add to. Seven, eight, nine, that's going to be a hit. Not nice. Uh, vertical dive, we roll right there. 2d6, 2 maximum. All right, so we're going to go with three hits. Going to be a modification to that, too. Uh, hit, no, hit effect multiplier for an ME 110 F4. Uh, roll 1d5 times 1. So we're just going to be just going to be three hits coming from a vertical dive. Uh, right here, 2d6, first hit, 10. Front center section, 9. WT operator, navigator, bomb aimer, mandrel, radio, HSG, or whatever. We're going to roll again, d6, 
one WT operator hit wireless. So we need to roll for bomber crew wound four serious wound. All right, WT operator serious. And that is how many uh, let's see where I have these at landing, I think. Peck on points, there we go. Serious wound five. All right, next. Attack from vertical dive right here. 2D6, four, front center section again. 2D6 again, four, oxygen supply. Two, WT oxygen out. That's not a big deal. Because, well, yes it is. Um, because he's still alive, he's just seriously wounded, so. Uh, let's get a piece in there. Um, markers. O2 out. And we'll come in front center. Oxygen out WT. And we will go to peck on points. Um, 10 points, not nice, uh, and we will have to go down to low altitude, and one more hit, why do I keep closing them, 6, port wing, 4, landing gear, 4, landing gear inoperable, That's going to hurt on landing. Landing gear inoperable. That would be port. And that's going to be how many Peckham points? Landing gear, 25 points. Well, we took a, quite a bit of damage on that. Now, we finally get the fire back at him. Um, bomber defensive fire, he's coming in from vertical dive. Got to go to the Wellington again. Vertical dive, none. So we don't get the fire at him anyway, so that was a moot point. Um, his second attack, last attack for him, because we rolled a two, will be... <laughs> And this time we get to see him, so we uh, can. There we go. Uh, no, night fire. There we go. Uh, eight will be six o'clock. Low. That'll be the tail gunner getting a crack at him this time. At least we can fight back a little bit. Um. We get the fire, we need uh, eight or less, or eight or more rather, seven. Not going to get it. Oh, six o'clock maybe. Um, um, that's a seven, six. Seven for ME one ten F four, eight for six o'clock. So we do get the hit. Uh, ME one ten F four right here, 
and we are tail gun which is a quad 303 so we're going to roll that's a d10 not a d12 10 nice we're going to kill this fucker um single hell quad 303 11 12 yeah we we're taking him out we are taking him out that's another kill That's another kill. That'll teach you to take my guy a out. KIA tail. All right. So, um, we did no evasive action again. Collisions. And I, once again, I forgot collisions. Nothing on the first and nothing on the second because we shot him down. So I didn't even need to make that roll. Um, Actually, now we need to roll collision for the bomber. Six. No collision. we got to remember that. Well, not only do we have a chance of collision when they attack us, but we have to have a chance of collision because we're flying in a formation at night. Navigation table. 1D10. Eight. That's a good roll. Eight. Um, seven. Six, five, six, we are back on course. No collisions on course. And we move to zone four. And in zone four, we have, well, we're actually going to have to move to low altitude now because of our... Uh, Oxygen being out. And, um, we will roll for mechanical function. 06, it's close, but 04 is the roll. If we were in a Sterling, we'd have problems. Um, so there's no mechanical failure. Contrails, three for three? Nope, no contrails this time. Good. Uh, our G is active. Um, we're going to roll for detection. 2D6. Oh, boy. Yes, we are detected. Uh, searchlights. No, we're not detected. So we don't have to worry about searchlights and trip away again. Night freighters. We roll a four, and again, that's going to give us one. So zone four, night fighter one, outbound, will be four, ME110F4 again. Possible attacks. Hopefully, we won't get detected by him. He will be a three. That's going to be a veteran. That's even worse. Well, not as bad as expert, but um, he's going to come in at six o'clock. Low. We got to see if he sees us. Full moon, 2d6, 4, maybe. Um, we are haze this time. Uh, 4, 3. No contrails. Still at 3. 4 for veteran. They do not see us. Good, good, good. So he is not detected, or he does not see us, and he flies away. Very nice. I like that. Ah, oh, come on, Greg. I'm getting a little crazy with my typing, as usual. Um, evasive actions and collision. Well, he never detected us, so 
I don't think we rolled for collision on that one. Do roll for collision for flying, so no collision. And we're going to go for our navigation roll. We roll a 10 again. That's going to be on course. And we continue on to 5. We're now over Germany. And we are still flying low. We now have clear weather. That's going to suck. That makes it a little bit easier for them to see us. No mission recall. Mechanical failure is 86. There will be no mechanical failure. Contrails roll was 6. There will be no contrails. G is active. Can viewer detection in the zone will be... Oh, they're going to see us. Yes, we are detected for the fourth time. Searchlights. Actually, I shouldn't have actually been rolling for searchlights until we were over land. Three and four, I should have rolled for that. Um, I get forgetful sometimes, unless we're playing with the uh, the uh, rafts or whatever. We're not. So, um, Full moon, 2d6, 5. Minus 2 for ground fogger. Haze, no, we're clear. 5. 4. 5. Stays at five. We are not detected for the third time in a row. Nice. So we get no trip away and no searchlights again. We're going to roll for German uh, night fighters. Five. That's going to be one more night fighter. Zone five. Night fighter one. Outbound. And we will roll for him, being a 5, DO217J1. And he will roll for how many attacks? 5 again. We're way above average on attacks here, gentlemen. Um, hopefully he won't be detected. Uh, pilot quality, 10. That's going to be a novice. And he will be coming in from, that's going to be 6 o'clock, low again. Let's see if he sees us now, full moon, 8, 7 for being a novice, 6 for first third, 7 for clear. Yeah, he sees us. All right, um, do we see him? Full moon, five, you kidding me? Um, six for clear conditions, seven for novice. Oh, we actually see him. Nice. So we get the fire first, and that's going to be my tail gunner. So we'll knock another tail ammo off. We are quad 303. We're going to get our defensive fire first. We need an eight or more. We roll five. Of course we do. Um, let's see what the modifications are. Five. Uh, six for novice. Seven for six o'clock. Not enough. That's a miss. All right. He's going to come against us from six o'clock. He needs a six or less. He rolls a three. That's going to be a miss because he's a novice. So the first one's a miss. Only four more to go. Hopefully we can actually hit him next time. Uh, he's going to come in from 6 o'clock again. This time he's going to come in 6 o'clock high. And I believe with the Wellington that's still just the tail. Yes. So uh, 6 o'clock high. We'll take another tail gun. Oh, before I forget, and I did, collision. No collision. 
Um, defensive fire. We need an eight. We roll a seven. That might be a hit this time. Um, an eight against a novice. Nine for six o'clock, so that's a hit. And we are a DO 217J1, so we're going to roll right here. 1D10, 5. And we are quad 404. Uh, 6, 7. 8 for him being a novice. FBOA. Well, he doesn't really break off attack, but that's going to help us um, in the long run by giving us a nice modifier. And collision. No collision. Um, so, oh, goodness, Greg. Uh, German offensive fire. He needs six or less. He rolls a six. Minus two is four. Minus one is three. That's going to be a miss. And we already did our collision because I'm all out of whack. And uh, attack two is out of the way. He's going to come back in from 9 o'clock level. Glutton for punishment. 9 o'clock level. We'll have him oh, left waist gun. So we're going to knock one off of the left waist. Get the right charts up here. Um, and we will fire. Seven. That's going to be close. Eight for being a novice. Nine for nine o'clock. So, yeah, that's a hit. And again, we're hitting a 217J1. All we need is an FCA, and we've taken them out. So we're rolling right here. D10, 2. Almost. Um, and our left waist is a handheld single 50. Oh, uh, 3, 4. I think that's enough to do it, gentlemen. Five for being a novice. Doesn't know how to jerk around. Five is an FCA, and left waist is going to get another kill. Return to deck. That's good, because he does not get to... Uh, get another attack on us then and the waste gets another kill um no no collision on that we will check collision with other bombers 12 possible collision roll a d6 4 no collision thank goodness navigation d10 8 we are on course Whew. and we roll on to Target zone. Make sure I get this right in the target zone. Term and altitude. We're still going to be low. We're over Germany. We have haze. No mission recall. Um, mechanical failure. 73. There'll be no mechanical failure. Contrails. No contrails. No cam viewer configure it's considered automatic, and now we go straight to the triple A. Um, we're gonna roll a d6, we roll a five, we have haze, six for the target zone. That's all it is six, medium. Yes, for Cam Uber. 
Um, no for searchlight. Well, it doesn't say we have to check searchlights, but that's part of the equation, isn't it? I guess you assume that we're hit by them. I always get targeted. See, it says illuminated by searchlights. So we better double check that one. And I'm not going to evade over to target. So, um, 2D6, 12. Yeah, we're, we're detected by searchlights. So, um, we would have added a 1 to that. Uh, 5. What do we get there? Back over there. We had a 5 originally. Six for target, seven for searchlight. Now we're into heavy. So now we're going to get heavy. That's scary. To hit the bomber, heavy. We're going to roll four times because we're at low level. So four rolls on the heavy. Five to nine is a miss. Six is a miss. Six is a miss. Nine is a miss. Eleven is a hit. I'll take one hit out of out of uh, that. Uh, zone six. Triple A. Outbound. Okay. I'm going to put... Two D six. Seven one hit area affected I don't think there's a area affected for these they use the same one pretty 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 sure of it yes uh, back to the uh, target I mean near combat zones um, yeah, we got Wellington in there. The updated. Um, 2D6. 8. Right wing. W6. Yeah, we've been down here before. I said that was the left wing. Right wing. 11. Wing root. That's all it is. I'll take a wing root. That's the left wing. We got plenty of those to give. Wing root. And that's going to be how many peck of points? Wing root, 25. All right, back to conduct night fighter combat. We got to find out how many night fighters we get. D10, 4, that's a good low roll. 5 for searchlight, 6, 7 for current target zone. One night fighter. Very fortunate roll. Zone 6, night fighter 1, outbound. And he will be 1. ME110F4 again. Four, Greg, not uh, dollar signs. And here we're going to roll for how many attacks? Five again. Man, we're getting hammered with these. All right. We have to do something about it. Um, night fighter attacks. Uh, combat. We're going to... Night fighter, number of night fighters, type of night fighters, you have weapons, pilot skill. Yep, pilot skill. Seven, flyger. All right, he's going to come in from four, one thirty. Low, all right. Gotta pull all this out of here. 130 low. 130 low for a Wellington will be uh, 
Nose turret and right waist. Actually get two guys on him, huh? Nose gunner. And right waist are both still in there, so. Alright. And then, um. Okay. Skill. Oh, Night fighter spots me. This game makes me so nervous. Always. Full moon. 2d6. 8. Um, we are haze. 7. We did get searchlights. 8 and 9. Yeah. We are detected. And do we see him? Nine. Good possibility. Uh, nope. Seven for searchlights. Still at seven. And we see him. Good. So we'll get first crack. Defensive fire. We've already allocated come back to that so we're going to start with our boy how do I keep doing that we're going to start with our nose I think and our nose is a twin 303 if <sighs> causes the gun to jam um, uh, for single guns one gun is automatically jam or oh, twin turrets Five. Both guns jam. Very nice. That's the way my missions usually go. And I did not put on these where I can jam them. How the hell did I not do that? Alright, let me get a piece down here and see if I have jammed. Hmm. I don't even, yeah, I can make, I can do it on the make case. We'll just put jam there. There we go. That's my reminder. I thought I had one, but apparently I don't. Oh, well. Radicals. Jammed. I don't have the proper ones out yet. Let's pull a new nose out, shall we? I can jam that one. There we go. We get rid of that one. And then left waist. Delete that one. Right waist. Delete that one. And a tail. Delete that. I was going to say, I thought I did that. It's the same as my target for tonight one. Uh, so we have jammed on there now. And uh, right waist. And right waist is handheld 50. And nine. That should be a hit. Uh, expert now. It's a flyger, right? Yes, flyger. Um, nine, one ten F four ten. Yep, that's easy hit. Hit damage against the me one ten F four. When we have a handheld fifty, that's a D ten. One. Oh boy. Um, handheld 50, uh, two, three. And, uh, three will be FCA. We'll take what we can get. 
All right, so now he gets to come in after us. He's coming from 130. He needs an eight or more. He's going to roll a six. Um, five. That's going to be a miss. All right. Then he's going to come back to see us. He's going to come in from nine, nine o'clock high. And nine o'clock high will be the left waist, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. All right, and we're going to go back to combat tables, uh, defensive fire, eight or more, seven. That should be a hit because we are at nine o'clock. Eight for one at 110F4. Nine for nine o'clock. Yeah, we got a hit. Hit damage against the 110 F4. All we need is an FBOA or more. Um, six. Handheld, 50 cal, seven, eight. FBOA, that will be a kill. Return to deck. We did forget his uh, collision again, and that's my waste gunner again. He's on a roll this mission. Hopefully our uh, our review board will hook him up. Uh, we forgot to do a collision on the first one. Ten, he was a flyger. He missed, so that's not a collision. Now we're going to check collision um, against... Uh, we're not going to go around. We got to, okay, we got to check. No, we don't check collision yet. Check advanced power to the next zone. I don't think we check for our bomber collision now until the we're getting ready to leave that um, things, and I don't check, I think we have to check for navigation now either. So let's pop that out right now. Um, no, duh, Greg, come on. Um, go around. No, uh, we've been on target for the last three. Um, target visibility six one. We have uh, die six, six, ooh, we are in haze, we are full moon, five, six for haze, of course it is, so we're going to be completely obscured, I usually tend to get them for some reason, completely obscured. Um, then we go to bomb run six six. We roll two d six. Oh boy. Um, uh, we lose one for being off target once. Um, I mean, out of, uh, uh, of course, um, before September 42, minus five, so yeah, we're off target, completely obscured, minus two, it's so disgustingly bad that we're not, we're, it's impossible for us to bring that back up, so we are off target, They're very nice guys. Then we're going to roll for bombing accuracy, which should be pathetic. Um, 2d6, 8, 0 percent. How did we know that was coming? But we're alive. That's the key to this game. 
Gonna put zero in there. And bombing accuracy sucked. Uh, thermal turbulence uh, six eight. Um, one die six five. We're fine on that. Four three. Even still, we're fine on that. So no turbulence. Turn bomber around for her inbound leg. Gladly. Uh, post bomb triple A. Roll D6. 1D6. Greg 5 again. We are still haze. 6, 7. Again, we're going to be heavy. Again, 4 die roll. Uh, let's go zone six, triple A, inbound, and uh, we're going to roll four times because we're low. All right, uh, five to nine to miss. First roll, 11, one hit. Second roll, four, two hits. Third roll, three, three hits. Three out of four hits. Yeah, we made up for our good luck on the way in. Three hits. 2d6 roll once for each shell hit so we got to roll three times first one's a seven that's one. Second one's an eight that's one. Third one is a five that's two so we're going to get four hits this is just getting better and better all right so area affected by triple a first one's going to be ten nose Nine compartment heat. Well, that's not going to hurt too bad because we're already at 10,000 feet. Nose heat, and I think that's 10, but I'll double check it. Um, ba -ba 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 heat systems 10 point. Yep. We'll go in there and put nose heat out. All right, now second hit. Uh, back to the triple A, Greg. Uh, area affected right here. Five front center. Getting that front center nailed pretty good this time. Um, five pilot or observer gunner. One D two six three observer gunner hit. 517 1 light wound observer light wound and that is light wound 2 points Third hit will be four rear section. I'm trying to get all my crewmen now. Six electrical. Three left waist gunners. Heat is out. Well, there's only one waste gunner, so um, waste heat out. Left waste. I'll put left in there, even though we only got the one guy, and it doesn't matter anyway because we're already there, and that's ten points. We're already low anyway, so uh, rear center waste gunner. I guess you can jump back and forth the different waste boxes. It doesn't matter. I only have one waste gunner. We got two positions, so I mean he can. It doesn't have to man both of them. I don't know. 
Um, we'll just mark it off. Okay. Um, one more hit. That will be eight right wing. Three wing root. All right. And I think that we already had that once. The 25. Yep. Okay. Uh, so we survived the trip away. It's always good to survive. Um, we're going to go into the night fighters. Right, night fighters, number of night fighters, rolling a seven. This is going to hurt. Uh, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to get two of them this time. Zone six, night fighter one, inbound. Now we'll see two of them. First one will be. A nine, JU eighty eight, C six. And we will roll. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Six attack, possible attacks. Oh boy. Ah, oh, my dice rolling sucks. Pilot quality. JU eighty eight, C six. Pilot quality will be one. Expert, of course he will. We would not have that any other way. Uh, he's going to come in from six o'clock level. Um, now he will try to spot us in the full moon. Ten, he's going to spot us. Do we see him? I'm probably going to roll a shitty roll on this. Nine. Seven for searchlights. Yeah, there goes that. Um, expert, six. Yeah, guess what? He gets first crack at us. All right. Um... Offensive fire coming in from 6 o'clock. He needs a 6 or more. He rolls an 11. He's going to get a hit. 6 o'clock is going to hurt. 11, that's really going to hurt. That's 4 hits for a JU-88 C6. Oh, lovely. For each score, um, roll once on table 511 for each scored on 510. So we, it doesn't make sense because of this times one plus one hit. Um, so a lot of us have been discussing that and we like better the, um, the multiplier. Because basically that times one plus a hit, if you're rolling for each hit, is a times two. There's no difference. Um, in my case, I rolled four hits, was it? Um, Eleven. Four hits, yeah. So that's going to be uh, eight total hits that we're going to have to survive now. <sighs> I would much rather roll... Um, once for each hit in this instance, but uh, we've discussed it, and I'm not going to play it that way. I'm going to play it the way that we've been playing it lately. And I, I've been forgetting to do this all game long. I've been forgetting to do that. Oh, boy. I have not played this game enough lately. Anyway, we got hits to do. Coming from 6 o'clock, let's see if we survive this. 6 o'clock level. <laughs> Six, port wing. Four, landing gear. Four, landing gear inoperable. Port wing, that is... Port is left. 
landing gear. Port wing. It's already out. So that's each additional hit. And that will be landing gear because there are no effect result. Basically, that's no effect result. That's going to be 10. All right. Only seven more hits. Go, guys. Um, six o'clock. Level 11. Rear center. Can't get any of them nice superficials, can we? Uh, four, electrical junction box, master compass. Three, no effect. Bite my tongue. I just got one. Third hit from six o'clock level. Ten, tail. Four, suit heater, tail gunner's heat out. Doesn't matter. They're 10 peckham points. Fourth hit. Level. Two. Superficial. And I forgot to put the no effect down there, too. Um, fifth hit. Yep. Fifth hit. Level. Five, tail. Four, tail gunner seat. That's a no effect. Sixth hit. Six, port wing. Nine, fuel tank. Inboard tank. Three. Leakage. Eight. Roll one day six. Wellington may travel the following number of turns, then bail out. Six. Six turns. So, one, two, three, four, five. We can make it back to base. Fuel leak, six turns. All right. Was that port? It was port. I'm putting it on the wrong side. All right. thing I'm not playing that uh, fuel um, add-on we'd be in trouble engine hits coolant fuel engine out engine hits no we lost fuel tank fuel tanks um, anchor bomb cell gunning operal systems and other hits System into metal, other miscellaneous systems and instruments. Um, we'll call that twenty five points. All right, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh hit. Seven, tail. Eleven. Our O2 supply. Doesn't matter. Tail O2. 
It doesn't matter. We're already low. That's 10. All right. And last. And hopefully it is the least. Seven tail again. 11. No two supply. One. No effect. Three, four. All right. Now we get the fire back. Um, tail gunner. Firing eight should be good. Um, Seven for expert. Eight for JU88. Nine for six o'clock. Yep, we got a hit. Hit damage against. And our tail guns are a quad 303. We're going to roll a one again. Does it not figure? Two, three. Two. Yeah, we just get a two. That's a JU88 uh, C6. Two FCA. We'll take what we can get. FCA. All right. So he will come back to see us. Maybe come back to see us. Let's start remembering to do this, shall we? 1D10. Six. Of course we roll good on that. We do not have a fire. He is an expert. Seven, eight, nine for full moon. Um, yes, we fired on them. Ten. Yeah, we're maintained. Next attack. He's going to come in from, that'll be 6 o'clock again, high, Let's switch right over to the high, again the tail gun's going to get a shot at him, and this time we get first crack. We roll a 7, that should be enough, barely, but it should be enough. Um, six, five for uh, JU eighty eight C six. I mean, not five, seven for JU eighty eight, and then eight for six o'clock. So we hit him again. We're quad uh, three hundred three, and against a JU sixty uh, eighty eight C six. Oh, I think he's gone. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 12, gone, oh, duh, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 10, still gone, destroyed his ass, return to deck, take that mother, all right, so tail gunner, KIA, tail, we're at least getting kills this mission, no, I usually don't get kills, um, so we're hanging on, night fighter number two, we can just get out of this zone, weather starts getting bad after this, we're going to have less chance of seeing them and getting detected, um, night fighter number two, six, DO217 and two, um, no, 343, So, um, re-roll, continue rolling. So we re-roll again. We don't roll him. 
5, DO217J1. That we can have. Pilot quality, 9, Flieger. He's going to come in from, that's going to be 6 o'clock high. Again, our tail gunner. Bomber, no, bomber detected. Full moon, 2D6. A, 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 9. Um, nine, 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 nine. 10, 11, yeah, he sees us. Do we see him? No. Because we're eliminated by search late still. S goes down to five. Um, yeah, stays at five. We don't see him. So he gets first crack. And that was DO217. J1. And he's going to come at us with five attacks again. Jesus. Oh boy. This is where it gets old. Lots of attacks. I like uh, Target for today where they're in and out for two or three attacks. And if you damage them, they're gone. Except for an FCA. Um, and this one, they can go on for all five attacks. Takes forever. I like the game. I just don't like how many attacks they get on us. As you see, we're getting ripped a new asshole on this mission already. And it hasn't even been one of my worst. Um... Ba -ba 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 -bum, bum, bum. He gets first crack. We did not spot him. Six o'clock. He needs a six or more. Nine, he's going to hit us. Six will be two. JU88, I know, DO217, J1D. Yeah, same firing table. We roll a two, so we got two hits. Two hits seems like nothing after what we've been through. Shut up, Greg. Uh, six high. Right here. Five, superficial. I'll take that. And second attack. Twelve, nose. Five, nose turret. Four, nose turret gunner rolls on the wounds table. He's already got a light wound on him. And he gets another light wound. Two light wounds are considered to be lightly wounded. So, uh, uh, not tail. That was nose, right? Boy, getting forgetful already. Yes, nose. And that's another two. Still considered a light wound, so that's not bad. Um, back to we get to attack him. That's our tail gunner. Eight. That'll be an, that'll be a hit because we got six o'clock against a do. No, well, do two seventeen doesn't get us anything, but the six o'clock gets us a plus one. We already got a hit with the eight, and a flyger is no negative, so we got a hit. And our tail gun is again a quad three o three, d ten two. Oh, yeah, we roll them nice low numbers. A uh, three four. Against the JU88, uh, J, uh, DO217J1. How quickly we forget. And that was a 4. FCA. We'll take whatever we can get. Alright. So. Uh, continuing Night Fighter. Um, D10. 6. Of course we do. Um, 7 for full. Uh, 
uh, eight for we fired on him. Yeah, he maintains. So he'll come in for another attack. This time we get first crack, though. Uh, that'll be six o'clock again, and he's going to be six o'clock level this time. Again, our tail gunner is going to get the call. We don't have to worry about spotting. We just shoot eight or more, seven, eight for six o'clock. We're good. We got a hit. Hit damage against the uh, DO217J1 right here. Plus two for our quad. <laughs> Four. Again, another FCA. We'll take whatever we can get. All right. Now he gets to come in. And he's coming in from six o'clock. He needs a six or more. We're subtracting two. Flyger does not subtract anything. All right, so he's going to roll a five. That's going to be a miss. I'll take that. It's a second attack. Continue night fighter attacks. Eight. Of course he does. Um, he'll, he'll come in for a third. Um, nine. That's going to be nine o'clock. Low. Nine o'clock low on a Wellington. Left waist. We get first crack. Left waist, the handheld 50. We roll a nine. That's going to be a hit. Against a, a DO217J1. We roll a 10. Very nice. Handheld 50, 11, 12. Down in flames. It's one way to get them to not come back. KIA. Waste. All right, we can finally get out of the target zone and go to zone five. Um, but no, first off, we have to roll collision. And we have no collision. I think I forgot colli collisions again with him. I'm getting bad on that again. Uh, we can move to zone, zone five now, finally, on the way back. We're going to stay low, altitude. Uh, it is 100% cloudy now. Uh, no mission recall, mechanical failure, no mechanical failure, no contrails on the way home. Uh, the G is still active, detection on the way home. We roll a 2D6, 6. Five, we are not detected. Hallelujah. First time. So we will have nothing all the way down. Uh, collisions, none. Don't have to worry about navigation anymore. We rolled a zone four. I like them kind of zones. Zone four, we're going to stay low. It's 100% cloud cover, mechanical failure. 12, no mechanical failure. Again, no contrails. G's active detection in the zone. Six, five, no detection. Two in a row. Hallelujah. No, all the way down. We can't afford to like lose an engine or something and take two turns or all of a sudden we're in trouble of not landing in a base. Um, zone three. We are still at 100%. We're going to stay low. 100% cloud cover. 
Mission recall. No mechanical failure. Yes. I mean, no. I'm sorry. Uh, no contrails. G is active. Detection in the zone. Six. Five for the first third. Not detected. We are getting extremely lucky. No searchlights. That'll be the last of tri trip away to go over water from now on. No night fighters. No spotting. Collision. No collision. No worries about navigation. Move to zone two. We're going to, well, don't say that yet. We still got zone two, dreaded zone two. Uh, we are staying at low altitude. 50% uh, cloud cover. Mechanical failure. None. Uh, no contrails. G is active. Detection in the zone. 2D6. 6. Six five for the first third. Not detected. We are home free, gentlemen. No. 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 Zero X X no. And then we come into zone one. We have this is going to be interesting. <sighs> landing. We have landing gear out. Poor weather. Here we go. 2D6. Oh, and we got a bad roll, too. This is going to suck. Uh, landing gear and opera, minus three. We're at zero. Roll again. Four bombers irreparably damaged, so I'm getting another bomber. We're at zero. Um, minus one. Minus one. Minus two, actually. Our bomber is wrecked. All right. And we're going to start rolling for wrecked on landing. Okay. Let's start right up the top here. Nose. One die six for each crew member. Three, nose is okay. Navigator, nav's okay. Pilot, pilot's okay. Um, wireless operator, he is rolling for wounds. Okay, so wireless. He's already probably out anyway, so that's not, not that I'm cold or anything, but that's probably not going to be our worst problem. Um, six killed. Uh, so he got killed. I guess his wounds were so serious that when we landed roughly and wrecked, he couldn't take it no more. Waste. Four. We got a roll on a wound table for him. KIA. Oh, boy. Waste. KIA. So all that nice shooting he did. Done. Posthumous. Uh, tail gunner. Four. He rolls two. One. Light wound. Jeez. 
okay. Um, so we are a little worse for wear, but uh, we survived the mission somewhat. We <coughs> only lost crew, two crew members. Um, let's see. Let's put here our nose gunner. Observation nose got a light wound. That's his first, well, it's everybody's first mission. Light wound. Um, KIA is, well, let's go tail gunner. He gets the same. And that's a light wound. And um, we lost KIA, our wireless, and our waste. All right. I guess we call that our successful mission because we got four crew members that can continue on. But the plane's going to change its name, and um, we're going to have two replacements. Um, oh, well, there we go. Let me save that up. And I want to thank you all for joining me, and you will have a good night.